Welcome to week four, Adventurous Adverbs. We've been writing with descriptive language and we've discovered the reason why we write with descriptive language is to paint a picture in your reader's mind and to add more detail and interest to your writing. How we have accomplished that is through our word choice. We've focused on adding noteworthy nouns, awesome adjectives, vivid verbs, and this week we're going to add adventurous adverbs. Authors use adverbs to describe or modify verbs, adjectives, or other adverbs in their sentences, add more interest to their writing, and create a detailed picture in their reader's mind. We're going to focus on using an adverb to modify or describe a verb in the sentence. Adverbs can describe how, how often, when, or where the action takes place in a sentence. We're going to look at some verbs and then some adverbs that can describe them. The verb followed could be described using adverbs like quietly, quickly, every day, or at lunchtime. Quietly and quickly are adverbs that describe how someone or something could be followed. Every day is an adverb that describes how often someone or something could be followed. And at lunchtime is an adverb that describes when or where something or someone could be followed. As we look at the verb smiled, someone could have smiled shyly, smiled excitedly, or smiled happily. All three of those adverbs describe how someone smiled. As we look at the verb eats, you might have a sentence that says, she eats hurriedly, he eats hungrily, we eat outside. Hurriedly and hungrily describe how someone eats, and outside can describe where someone eats. We're going to look at our sentence about the cat and the man that go to the store. We've been working with the sentence now for four weeks. The cat walked with the man to the store. That's a pretty boring sentence. It doesn't give us a lot of detail or information, and it doesn't really paint much of a picture in our mind. The new sentence says the fluffy white cat stealthily followed Tim and Mr. Jones to Costco. This week we added the adverb stealthily to describe how the cat followed Mr. Jones. As we compare the two sentences, the cat walked with the man to the store is pretty boring. The fluffy white cat stealthily followed Tim and Mr. Jones to Costco is more interesting and gives us more information and helps us see the story as it's happening. We can see the fluffy white cat. We understand how he stealthily followed Mr. Jones. We know that Mr. Jones is timid, so that gives us an idea of how Mr. Jones might look or behave. And Costco gives us an idea of where this is taking place. So the noteworthy nouns, awesome adjectives, vivid verbs, and adventurous adverb that we added to this sentence has painted a picture in our mind and given us a lot of information and interest to just this plain sentence that we started with. This chart is a list of adverbs that tell how, how often, when, and where. These are just a few examples. So if you get stuck, you can come to this chart to help you pick one. But there are many, many, many more adverbs that aren't written on this chart. There's a video for you to watch, and you're going to pay close attention in the video to how adverbs modify or describe verbs. You only have to watch the first two minutes and 30 seconds of the video that describe how adverbs modify and describe verbs. After the first two minutes and 30 seconds, the video will start explaining to you how adverbs modify or describe adjectives or other adverbs. You're welcome to watch the whole video, but it's not required. Your first activity in your writer's notebook is to come up with as many adverbs as you can think of to describe the verbs in the chart. The first verb has been started for you. The verb run could be described using adverbs such as quickly, happily, early, fast, or every day. You can finish that line and then do the rest of the words in the chart. The link to the kids thesaurus is there to help you find words if you need it. The second activity is to identify the verb in the sentence and change its font color to green. Rewrite the sentence four times, each time using a new adverb to describe the verb in the sentence. Change the adverb's font color to purple. So it's our sentence that we've been working with all four weeks, the car drove down the street. You have two choices for how you can rewrite the sentence. You can focus only on adding an adverb. So in the first example, the car drove speedily down the street. 
I focus just on identifying the verb and then adding the adverb to describe it. Or if you're ready to challenge yourself, you can try adding noteworthy nouns, awesome adjectives, a vivid verb, and an adventurous adverb. The dirty Corvette sped silently down busy Main Street. If you would like, you could just do one challenge sentence at the end for number four, or you could try to write all four of them as a challenge sentence. It's up to you. The next activity is to rewrite each sentence, adding adverbs to describe each verb in the sentence. Change the font color of each verb to green and the font color of each adverb to purple. So there's a boring sentence on the left-hand side of the chart. The kids walk to the zoo. Now, when I rewrote the sentence, I wrote it like a challenge and I changed the nouns to noteworthy nouns and I added adjectives and I added a vivid verb and I added an adverb to Kate and Bobby strolled excitedly to the famous San Francisco Zoo. Excitedly is the adverb that describes the verb strolled. If you would like to focus on just identifying the verb and adding an adverb to describe it, you can do that. Or you can try what I did and write challenge sentences. It's up to you. Again, you could just choose one of those to write a challenge sentence for if you would like to try it out. And the last activity in your writer's notebook is to insert a text box and write a short paragraph in response to the writing prompt. You can copy and paste the paragraph from last week's notebook or start a brand new paragraph. Remember to use descriptive nouns in red font, add awesome adjectives in blue font to describe the nouns, use vivid verbs, and add adventurous adverbs to describe the verbs. Now if you're copying your paragraph from last week and pasting it in, you're only going to have to focus on adding the adventurous adverbs because your paragraph will already contain noteworthy nouns, awesome adjectives, and vivid verbs. But you can start a new paragraph if you would like. Um, the prompt is to write to tell about the most memorable birthday gift you have ever received. Those are all of the activities for your writer's notebook this week. If you have any questions, please contact me.